Hi guys, this is Elizabeth from A Breath of French Air. And I haven't posted for a while. But I'm starting to make um, restocks on my soaps. So, let me see if you can see that. Oops, sorry. This is a really old camera I have and I can't see what you are seeing in the monitor unless I go behind the camera and look in. But I'm getting ready to cut some soap. Before that, I wanted to show you a soap I made the other day. And this is vanilla, just plain vanilla. And um, the white part is um, unscented. And the brown part, of course, has the vanilla in it. I like this tree branch type thing and this um, will darken the um, brown will darken it doesn't get like a dark dark brown like chocolate does but it gets um, it gets to be probably a medium brown um, soap so the so the swirls and everything will show up better when it gets a little bit darker and let's see these were made, um, these are vegan, since they don't, I didn't put any cream in them. They're 5.6, 5.6, 5.65, So they're fairly large bars. Um, I did a um, pretty steep discount on them, so I can't imagine that they would lose um, that much um weight so they'll still be way over five ounces when i put them on the side and when i you see this they'll be on the side of course and um so anyway that's what i made yesterday it's just plain vanilla i just love it it's i don't know it's sweet i call it sweet vanilla so it's a restock of a um of my well sweet vanilla and um i didn't have any i don't even have an old slice to um, or an in butt to show you what it how brown it gets but anywho that's that one and yesterday I made <coughs> a charcoal soap and um, this is also a restock <coughs> except I added a few other things to it and this is what I made with the extra batter because I used the brambleberry molds and they allow they have a little extra so I made three hearts and these have um, charcoal of course and tea tree and lavender and lime so let's get started And this is a great unisex scent. I'm actually making a few of these for my daughter because she, want, she wanted a charcoal tea tree soap. So I add a little bit of lavender and um, lime to kind of balance the tea tree. So there's the full loaf. And there's the bottom's kind of cool looking. A little marbled. And these were made with olive, <coughs> olive oil, <coughs> excuse me, olive oil, coconut oil, palm, palm kernel, castor, um, all the essential oils. charcoal, and sodium lactate. Okay. 
there's the let's move out the bubbles that the line makes the wire but that's the how it looks These are five. So, kind of interesting. Just kind of a plain, that's 4.95. So these are going to be a little bit smaller. That's an end piece. That might be a sample. 4.75. But actually, the small size works well with, um, you know, being a... a um, a uh, nice facial bar. Oh, and I put um, Benonite. Is it Benonite? No, I'd put kaolin clay in here for a nice shaving soap, too. So, now it's just your kind of your basic swirl. That's a bigger one, 5.25. But, oh, it smells delicious. And I'm not even a tea tree person. It's an end piece. I'm just not much of an end piece person, but I mean, not end piece. God, I can't talk. This is what happens when I, I'm trying to think of other things that I need to do while I'm doing this. And then things don't make sense. the second one. Could have a cool side. And this recipe is really easy to work with too. And uh, yeah it didn't it didn't um, accelerate at all. I didn't have any problems. I usually don't have problems with this recipe so um, I've been using lavender. There. So, just your basic. Your basic swirl soap, charcoal soap. The black is charcoal, the white is unscented. Just a plain base, which is on the top. 505. That's an end piece. That's going to be smaller. That's four. 4.8. So these are going to be a little bit smaller. 5.05. .05. So I guess it depends on how much peaking it got. So there you go. Um, I'm just doing a whole bunch of restocks now. Um, I haven't had a charcoal soap in a while. And I usually just put tea tree, well, I put tea tree and lavender, and I decided to add lime to it. And um, so anyway, um, so that's it in my vanilla. Those are the new ones, and I've got a lot more coming up. So when you see this video, when I post this, um, they'll, of course, already be listed in my shop at A Breath of French Air. Um, over on Etsy. It's a breath of French air .etsy .com, and it'll be posted over there. Um, I do that before I come in and put the video on so that people can just go right over and purchase. So, and I have 16 of these plus the little heart sets, and I probably sell the heart sets together. I did that with my patchouli orange too. And, um, or maybe my daughter will get the heart ones. I don't know. All right. We'll talk to you later and thanks for watching.